Talking with Brooke Kroger right now from the uh, Kemper Girls golf team as they took on Atlantic out of the Carroll Muni today. And Brooke, uh, not bad conditions, nice sunny day, but a little windy and a little cool out here today. Mm -hmm. uh, followed you guys through the first couple of holes today. Looks like you played that first hole really pretty well. Take us through that first hole. Um, I had a really good drive and my second shot with my wood went very well and I got out to the right a little bit, but I was able to chip it on and able to put putt for a birdie, so I made it. So. Started off putting well on number one. Yes. Uh, take us through that putt. How did you read that putt? Um, I looked at it from both directions and I thought, oh, well, I have to aim left, it's gonna go right. And it was three or four foot putt and I'm like, we do these in practice every day, we have to make it, so. <laughs> uh, hole number two, I uh, got a really nice drive, got on the green in two, <laughs> and then the putter kind of left you for a moment. And, what yeah, happened there? definitely did. Uh, I don't know, I think that the green got into my head it was a bad break and I just let it get to me and I need to stop <laughs> how did <laughs> how did you feel like you picked up after that how did the next few holes go for you um the next few were pretty good I got bogeys and it was it was pretty easy laid back uh, number five was not so well I bladed a few and then putted three times again <laughs> I know you were talking with Coach Spieler about that. What do you think caused those three putts for you today? Uh, not getting my chips up, so I probably need to work more on the chipping than the putting. <laughs> okay. Uh, where did you feel you're most comfortable out on the course today? What holes did you think played well for you? I think number nine definitely played well. Hard it. <laughs> and then probably two was another one of my better ones. So. Irons, clubs, uh, which clubs work drivers? Which one worked better for you today? My driver and my woods actually worked really well. My woods were even working in the rough, so that helped a lot. Were, distance. were you in the rough quite a bit today, or, um, or, or did you stay in the fairway? Four or five times I was in the rough on the long holes, so it helped a lot <laughs> to get that wood out and give me the distance I needed to get closer. So. Has been, that been a club in the past that has worked well for you, or is that no, a, a, a new find? Yeah, this year it's, I've definitely found the, pe like the tempo and the pace for that kind of club, and it's definitely helped me a lot. Now, I know you put in a lot of time during the offseason improving your game. Yeah, uh, where do you feel like you improved the most coming into this season? Um, probably my middle range shots. Not, my drives are always pretty well, and my chipping and putting's never been very well, so probably my in, in, between, in between. Now, this Atlantic team, really, really pretty strong. Mm -hmm. uh, is it is it uh, uh, kind of someone in the first meet of the year, would you have rather played a team that maybe wasn't so challenging, or did you like having that challenge right away? I definitely liked having the challenge right away because it gave you a taste of what you have to do to accomplish getting to state and winning again. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, you're one of three teams that finished in the top three last year as the champion, but the other team's bringing everybody back as well as you guys do. Uh, what's the mindset of this team early in the season? Um, I think we just need to work as a team, help each other out, and um, just do our best and don't worry about the little things so much. And just have fun. Well, Brooke, I appreciate you joining us here today. Congratulations on a good round. Thank you.